my gosh. Why are our fans following us in the bathroom? Go away. <laughs> Considering the fact that they're going towards the mountain in their, <laughs> in their bathing suits, I would say they are not ready. <laughs> what did you expect, Madison? You have no skill. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it and I hope you guys are all doing really well and staying safe. I am looking forward to today's episode because we get to see some of our old favorites and we get to go on a girls trip today. Madison has been such a great mother. I feel like it's time for her to get away and just have some me time but with her older daughters just having a great time. So I hope you guys are looking forward to today's episode and let's go ahead and get into it. Okay, so we're starting off in Create a Sim today. We have Victoria finally back at home with us. I moved her back into the household uh, just to make it easier for planning the vacation. So the reason why I wanted to make sure everyone's snow wear is up to date and everyone's looking great is because of the fact that if you remember in the last episode, I had mentioned how Madison has gone um, mountain hiking quite a few times with her family members. Like every time I go to do spend all, um, so it says here, I took my best friend Jade to go mountain climbing. She's done mountain climbing with her daughters quite a few times. So I was like, okay, let's just send her mountain climbing because obviously Madison really likes mountain climbing. But first off, let's just quickly go ahead and do a recap of last episode. So we left off at the age of 45, Roland moved out. I was so sad. I miss him already. My daughter Duchess Lottie has been diagnosed with tonsillitis. She was sick. We got her better. Everything is okay in the world. And I actually, thank you to my good friend Lady Sweetheart Sims here on YouTube. She messaged me and taught me how to make little Willow feel better. So under edit her attributes, I was able to make her health. I didn't give her 100% because I thought that was kind of cheating. So I set it to 90. So we don't have to worry about little Willow anymore. So thank you so much. I really, really appreciate your help. You're amazing. So that's kind of where we've left off. So I'm like, these girls need to get out and have some fun. So they're still all in their snowy escape outfits from the last trip, except for little Lottie, who actually aged up in the last episode. What a queen. I love her so much. I love her cold weather outfit. It is so cute. Okay, so there's Lottie's like mountain climbing gear. I feel like that looks like she's nice and safe. That for Victoria. And there is Madison, all ready for their snowy escape mountain climbing adventure. So we're back in the game here. I wanted to show you, I did go ahead and give little Willow a big girl bed. For some reason, I just really loved this color and this design for her. And she's still a kid right now, so I feel like it's still okay for her to have a little bit of a smaller bed. And just something about it makes me feel like it's very her. And if you guys saw in the last episode, little cutie here uh, aged up into a little toddler and he is so stinking cute. I love him. And we also gave him a new bedroom. So that's kind of what went on in the last episode. But I am gonna get Madison to right away plan her vacation. So in BitLife, I thought what we would do is relationships. I'm going to have her personally spend time. So we took Victoria shopping. We can totally go shopping on our trip. That sounds like a lot of fun. And little Lottie, we will spend time with her. And we played games with Lottie. Okay, so we're going to do a girl's trip and we're going to do shopping because they're both older now. Okay, so we've spent time with everyone. I'm going to get her to take a vacation. So we are going to go with Victoria, Lotta, 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 Lotta cuties, Lottie and Madison. Harrison's going to stay home and take care of little Willow and Edwin and the girls are going to go have fun. Alrighty. Okay, so we have arrived here at this part. Oh, it's so beautiful. So this must be where all the festivals happen. I haven't been to any of the festivals here in town. I'm so excited to explore all of this so much more. Oh my gosh, this is so beautiful. This is so cute. Okay, so let's see here. Oh, I love this. This is such a nice house. 
Now, this I think is a definitely um, up to Madison's standards. Oh, I love this. This was like designed for Madison and Victoria. So we'll assign this bed to Lottie. We will assign this bed to Victoria. Obviously, Madison gets the main bed and our butler is here so we're not here on our own and i think that little lottie would actually be super excited to see her big sister because she really hasn't had that much of a opportunity to spend time with her sister so she is so excited uh you sure can see the difference between the girls like you can tell that they're sisters but um they're definitely two completely different um personalities they're basically two different girls <laughs> Um, so excited. So I think the first thing I want to do is probably buy, um, probably get Madison to like buy a bunch of stuff that we might need to go more order adventure gear, purchase climbing gear. Okay. So I'm going to get all of them to do it. Thanks for ordering. The items can be found in Madison's inventory. Duchess Lottie got a sentiment with um, Madison. I'm glad you don't think my llama jokes are lame. <laughs> Both of them apparently have a good sense of humor. So Madison has ordered her hiking supplies. So they got here over uh, night on a red eye flight. So it's actually 5.50 in the morning for them. So they probably will do their shopping day today and then do their mountain climbing tomorrow just because of the fact that it's been uh, a long night okay so all of the girls are pretty hungry but they're feeling pretty good so we are going to head over to I think there's a lounge here somewhere visit residence visit residence here we go I think this is the lounge here yeah visit the lounge perfect so we will head over there for some lunch and then we will do some shopping in the shops around town and let them just have a great girls day. And then tonight we need to get them to start reading for their hiking skill or their mountain climbing skill because they are not going to get very far if they do not know how to mountain climb. So the girls are here. <laughs> Apparently one of our fans are here as well. This is such a cool idea. I love the stairs being alternated like this with the little sand area here. I don't know what they call that, but it is so, so cute. Okay, so we'll get lots of food for the girls and have them all come over here and get some foodsies. So there are a lot of fans. Oh my God, is this really Madison? You're so hot. Oh, thank you, Mortimer. Um, we'll get them to sit outside together here while they eat. Okay, so we're out to lunch. We're eating. We do have the photographers around, so they have found out about the fact that we are on vacation. I do think that Lottie gets a little bit more annoyed about it because, you know, her sister is a duchess and so is Victoria. So it makes sense that they would be getting this type of attention when they're found to be, you know, traveling abroad. <laughs> this lady just passes out. Um, but I do think that we will let Madison do a few things. She can do a selfie with a fan. Oh, she's giving him a hug. So she's like, okay, you can take a picture. Can you just please, you know, don't bug my daughters and then I will be okay. Oh wow, this woman really dressed up for the event. So she's taking a selfie. In the meantime though, the girls are able to spend some time getting to know each other. She's like, oh, mom's always dealing with this. How do you handle it? Lottie's like, I don't mind actually. I really enjoy it. And she's like, oh, I guess you and I are different that way. She's like, probably, but that's okay because you get to pursue what you love and I'll pursue what I love. So Lottie is like forever the optimistic, proper young lady. Whereas Victoria is a little bit more like Ugh, why can't people just leave us alone? But, you know, Madison can never... Oh, what is she doing? She is feeling close with someone nearby. Who are we feeling that with, I wonder? It isn't Harrison, I'll tell you that much. <gasps> Anyways, uh, she has to go to the bathroom, so I'll let her go ahead and do that. And then we'll send the girls out for a little shopping trip. They were able to have a nice little visit at the pub. They got their foodies on. They're feeling good. Oh my gosh, why are our fans following us in the bathroom? Go away! Man, they are just so obsessed with us. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and send these girls shopping. So maybe we'll have them come out to the plasma here. The plaza here. What's this? 
I feel like this should have, I'm not trying to like complain about the pack. I really do like this pack, but you know, it would have been really nice if this was actually, actually a functioning store. Like how cool would that have been that they could actually come here and go to all these buildings and like buy some little trinkets and stuff, you know, I just, something about it kind of annoys me. But anyways, that's not, it's not a big deal. So they're all taking a selfie at the little statue while they're at the shops. So let's see, let's go shopping. Oh look, we can make, meet Yamachan. Here, go ahead and take a selfie with him. You can go ahead and do the mountain move. Oh, look at Victoria, she's such a little kid sometimes. She's like, oh my gosh, can we please take a picture? So, hmm, let's see. You can buy a plane, jewelry, cars. Well, I guess we can buy some more jewelry while we're out. Aw, uh, got the mountain moves. Who knew Yamachan was such a great dancer? Um, what's the most expensive thing? We'll buy this uh, ruby ring for 1.5 million. That sounds good. You now are the proud owner of a 23.89 carat ruby ring. Okay, so all of the people are taking photos of us. I guess we can get Madison to go ahead and just pose for pictures. Well, we'll let her do a public service. There we go, you spent an evening helping the elderly at a retirement community. There we go, so at least she did a little bit of something. Okay, so we will go ahead and send these girls back home. They were able to do a little bit of sightseeing in the area and Madison bought a really fabulous necklace while they were out. And we will let them try to uh, get their uh, <laughs> mountain climbing skills up before it's too late. Okay, so I've got everyone starting to read their rock climbing um, books. So hopefully, okay, so acquired the rock climbing skill. Rock walls are no longer obstacles rather than fun challenges to be conquered. Victoria's new skill in rock climbing allows her to climb up and down small climbing walls as well as equip and remove climbing gear. So Madison has also received the same skill and I just bought the book for little Lottie. So she is gonna go ahead and start reading that also. So the girls are all working on that. So I'm gonna just get them to work on this tonight and have some fun girl time. And then in the morning, I will catch back up with you when they are ready to go on their rock climbing journey. Okay, so these girls are basically amateurs when it comes to hiking. Um, or mountain climbing, I should say. So it's definitely going to be interesting. Look how cute they all are in their little mountain climbing gear. I have no clue if we're gonna get very far. So I know it's under a social event. I think this is great for Madison because she was able to feel famous, work on her fame a bit, get herself out there, but also being able to spend time with her daughters. She was really starting to feel not super attractive and you know, getting older is always hard. Okay, mountain climb excursion, here we go. Mountain climb excursion, do you have what it takes to lead an expedition to the peak of a mountain, to, to the peak of Mount Kamarebi? No, hone those climbing skills, pack some equipment and food, and check mountain conditions. Not everyone makes it to the top. For those that are well prepared and do reach the summit will be rewarded with bre breathtaking views and bragging rights. We probably won't get that far, but <laughs> We will try. So we've got Madison and Victoria. Okay. <laughs> she's the excursion leader. Oh my gosh. This is not going to go well. I can already tell. So she's walking through the snow. Oh my gosh. This isn't going to be good, you guys. <laughs> they might just get through the first one, to be honest. Okay, so we've checked her readiness. Okay, so now she needs to check excursion members climbing readiness oh my gosh well considering <laughs> considering the fact that they're going towards the mountain in their <laughs> in their bathing suits i would say they are not ready <laughs> okay so i hit check excursion readiness <laughs> apparently these girls think they can take down uh mountain climbing in their uh little teeny bathing suits maybe we should uh put different outfits on okay so she is checking the readiness of okay victoria can you just change your clothes like i don't 
get why you're staying in. Okay, move on. Yes. I think we did it all. I'm so confused. I have no clue what's happening, by the way. Okay. The group was a bit underprepared. They are a little tired, but reached the Mount Kamarebi at base camp okay. Oh, good. <laughs> we were a bit unprepared. We just got here. I thought I would get to see them climb. I'm so confused right now. Okay, so there's the camp. There's a bridge. Oh, here we go. Inspect wall conditions. I have no clue what we're doing, but I want them to climb. Both the girls are resting in the tent. Okay, good. So we've got Victoria, uh, or we have Madison inspecting the walls with the <laughs> zero knowledge that she has. So that's good. Okay, climb up the rock wall. How do I do it? Okay, your walk. Oh my God. <laughs> How did we even get to this part? Okay, it's too low, it says, for her to get up here. Okay, let's have her read volume two of rock climbing. <laughs> I'm hoping that that'll help. If you guys are hoping to see how this event works, um, I'm horrible, clearly. <laughs> so I am sorry for that, but you are not going to learn much from me. Okay, so Madison, are you able to climb yet? Nope. Okay, well, you can go ahead and go to sleep. Aw, Victoria brought her guitar up here. <laughs> These girls should not be out here. This is what I've learned. These royals are not prepared for mountain climbing. I don't even know how they got here because they didn't even try to climb the mountain. Look how beautiful it is, though. You gotta admit, it's pretty, it is pretty cool. Okay, so after trying to read a book and trying to hang out with her daughter, daughters, Madison has decided... <laughs> Madison has decided that um, they're probably not going to go very far because they have no climbing skills. Like, it wouldn't even let her look at it. <laughs> oh... But at least they're having a good time. There we go. So you can go ahead and sit while your sister plays guitar for you. Are you gonna go sit with your sister? Oh, well at least the girls are getting to hang out. She's like, I cannot believe we are out here. Why would mom even bring us here? And she's like, mom's always wanted to go mountain climbing, uh, Victoria. Like, let's just give it to her. And she's like, she has no clue what she's doing. We should have at least brought someone. Lottie's like, this is true. But you know how, st oh, hi mom. Hi girls, so I was thinking um, maybe we should just go back home <laughs> because we clearly have no clue what we're doing here. And she's like, yeah, why am I here? <laughs> oh, this makes me so happy. Oh look, the spice festival's in town. That sounds way more fun. Anyways, so I think I'm going to just end this event and let these girls go home. Everyone was looking forward to the climb. Better take time to mend feelings after flaking out like that. Ooh, their mad lack of leadership. Victoria was dragged out into the snow and had to trudge partway up a mountain. And it was definitely not worth it. And yeah, Lottie is feeling the same way, even though they're not saying anything. And how is she feeling? She's embarrassed. Too weak for the peak. Madison is really disappointed in the excursion party she was leading to the mountain peak. They barely made it up the gondola. <laughs> What did you expect, Madison? You have no skills. How are you just dragging people out mountain climbing all the time? I thought you would be a natural. Oh, and now they have to slowly trudge back down the hill. Oh, poor girls. I cannot believe mom took us out here. <laughs> oh, no. And then Victoria almost falls. She's like, this is the worst day of my life. Well, we'll let you guys go to the springs and warm up. That is so funny. Oh, Victoria, everyone keeps falling. Oh, look, the Festival of Lights are here. Okay, so everyone's pretty tense, pretty hungry, and pretty tired. But I think over here, yeah, we have the festival going on. Okay, so we're all going to sit together and have a nice family chat. Oh, look. Wow, there's a bunch of, there's like a flamethrower and a, a fire dancing. Oh my gosh.
gosh, look at everyone having fun over here. That's so cool. So the girls can watch that here by this cute little pond bridge area while they're all visiting. So the little family is here just by the fire having a nice visit after getting back from that tragic hot mess of a mountain climbing mission. <laughs> Okay, so I think what we're gonna do is we are actually going to send everybody home. It's time to go home. They had a great time, but we should clearly should not be on a mountain. <laughs> Okie dokie. We have just gotten back home and I think they are all happy to be home. I think I'm gonna send everybody to sleep because everyone clearly needs it. Bit life. Our health is 100%, our looks are 99%, but like I said, I do feel like Madison has maybe been feeling a little bit down about getting older, so I do think that she would want to get a little bit of Botox and maybe try to treat some of her her um, wrinkles. Uh, plastic surgery, okay. So I feel, uh, reveal your beautiful eyes. I think that she would want a facelift to look much younger so plastic surgeon which local plastic surgeon will you consult with for a facelift procedure obviously dr black's reputation is much better so i'm gonna go ahead and do that facelift dr black has inspected you closely and determined that you are eligible for a facelift get the surgery for fifteen thousand pounds yes Ooh, the results weren't great your facelift was successful although our looks are a hundred percent Whew, that was close okay so once so now that kind of justifies why she still looks so young um, I might even get rid of the little wrinkles around her mouth because she did get some plastic surgery get a wax treatment today um, Brazilian full body 135 pounds Ow. Ooh, wax on wax off you got a Brazilian full body wax you're bare everywhere now Whew. Okay, so our looks are super high. Our smarts are starting to go down. So I would like her to do some mind and body. I guess we'll read a book. Okay, so we are reading a children's book to our child. Okay, that sounds good. So I'll get her to read this book oh, yeah. to Edwin. You read all 32 pages of Brown Bear, Brown Bear, What Do You See by Bill Martin Jr. Wow, that made our smarts up to 100%. Last but not least is our respect, you guys. Ooh. Some random person tried to touch her crown, so they put her in jail, and the people were like, how could you? So, um, let's see. For law review, offer your support for a new law that has been proposed in the United Kingdom. Ban bear wrestling. Support it. So our respect hardly went up. So at least she's in a pretty good place. Our happiness, health, smarts, looks, and wealth are all really, really good. So you guys, I think with all of that being said, I think we're gonna go ahead and we are gonna leave this part here. I really hope you guys enjoyed this part. If you did, please go ahead and give it a big thumbs up and let me know in the comments below what you guys think. And until next time, I am gonna say bye for now. Yeah, I shook off all the bad vibes cut me loose.